thing! You can't go in there! Agent Sophia, this is as good of a place as any to start our search. I still have no idea what we're looking for. You and me both. Apparently there's been an irregular surge of missing persons around here. We have a couple eyewitnesses. Nothing really concrete. Is there anything we can go off of? Some local reported seeing a haunted ice cream truck, but when local PD followed the lead, they found nothing to corroborate her story. Well, let's see what we can dig up. There better not be some gangly pale monster with a big mouth hiding here. What? You don't want a memorable first day on duty? Sorry. Bad joke. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, well, there's our haunted ice cream truck, I guess. Maybe. Doesn't look abnormal. Still working. I'll say. This thing is freezing. Super surprise flavor? Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's awful. Maybe that's the surprise. Ugh, it's salty and sour. It even has a weird consistency. Hmm. This tastes like human flesh. How do you... You know what? I don't want to know. I'm guessing this haunted ice cream truck might be our culprit. Let's pay the fine and get this thing out of here and back to Site 17. Roger that. Sponsored by Wonder Chef Belmora. If you've ever wanted to create your own content but thought you needed to be a professional, not anymore, Daddy O. You can just use Wonder Chef Filmora. It's easy to use, but has all of the powerful tools that come with professional video editing software. Filmora makes it easy for you to create amazing videos by giving you access to a massive library of templates and presets. Here, take a look. Filmora recently updated to version 10.4. They have the new Poly Entrance Startup page, which will take you directly into their intelligent editing mode and do things like one-click audio normalization. And the best part is their new Auto Highlight feature. It intelligently finds the highlight of your video and trims out the rest of the clip. You can even publish those short videos directly to YouTube or TikTok. So hit the link in the description to try Filmora for free today. And, just because we love you, if you comment on our video and let us know what you want to make with Filmora, then share it to your social media account with the hashtag SCP and Filmora, we'll pick three winners to receive a free Filmora account. Okay, well thanks for stopping by. Wow, this might be one of the easiest extractions I've ever done. Time for some tunes. Uh, that's not the way. Hey, Sophia, I think you missed a turn. Uh, Sophia? Wait, why is that music playing? Command, this is Agent Lawrence, clearance code Alpha Tau Epsilon. I'm gonna need backup. Protocol AIOTA must be initiated. Track my location and set up a roadblock as soon as possible. And then what happened? I was about to enter the ice cream truck, and that's when backup arrived. Luckily, they were ready for anything, including ear protection. So you believe it was the music that hypnotized you? 
Certainly. I mean, what else would it be? Do you remember what happened after they restrained you? Yeah, the MTF unit was able to encircle the ice cream truck. I know it was the sound of the engine, but man, that thing sounded like it roared. It smashed through the roadblock and kept going. We gave chase, but it kept slipping through our traps. Finally, at 5 a.m., it pulled over to the side of the road and stopped. Music, engine, everything. That brings us to today. SCP-490 is to be maintained in Storage Garage 17 Golf. Its door replaced with a soundproof door with an interior code lock. SCP-490 is to have all four wheels disabled through standard parking boots and is to be kept chained at all times to four molybdenum eye bolts sunk in a minimum of three meters into a solid concrete floor. Unfortunately, Agent Sophia lost her life due to 490's anomalous properties. Services will be held tomorrow at 900. Now, we have learned a number of anomalous properties exhibited by this SCP during its containment and preliminary testing on it. SCP-490 is an ice cream truck dating to the 1960s constructed by Ford. It seems to be mechanically standard except for the audio system, which does not respond to operators, though it appears to be in working order. The key to the vehicle is fastened in the ignition and cannot be extracted by any means. SCP-490 can be driven and functions properly in all ways compared to other vehicles of the same model. Between 2 and 5 a.m. local time, SCP-490 will operate itself and drive at a low speed in a random circuit through local roadways. At this time, it will function as if in peak condition while playing a tune from its speakers. The tune has not been identified, but resembles music played on non-anomalous trucks of the same make. However, the tune never loops, and no portions can be identified as of yet. Recorded portions do not carry the anomalous effect. Any individual who hears the music will start advancing towards the vehicle, ignoring any instructions to stop. Upon reaching the vehicle, the back doors to the truck will open and the person will step inside with the doors closing behind him or her. The doors become sealed, impossible to open by regular means, and if tampered with, it will begin to chase down the individual responsible. If there are multiple subjects affected, then each will line up and wait for the doors to open again, or until the three-hour window has elapsed. Subjects outside the vehicle, when time elapses, will wander away in apparent confusion. When interviewed, they appear to have no memory of the event. Any persons that entered into the truck during the time that the music was playing will have vanished. The freezers will have been stocked with frozen treats. Though the treats will contain traditional flavors, chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, the wrapper advertises a surprise flavor. The super surprise flavor stated is human flesh incorporated into the product, which DNA testing has proven to be that of the subjects who entered the vehicle and subsequently vanished. Any questions? Yes, Gustav? Have you researched the VIN? That could lead us to some clues as to its origin. Yes, we've explored that avenue. The vehicle identification number has become eroded away, and attempts to reconstruct it have failed. Oh, if that is all then, I will see you all bright and early tomorrow. Dismissed. Mm. Sounds like that was a close call out there, Agent Lawrence. Yeah, Sophia volunteered to drive the thing. I didn't think anything of it. It's not your fault. It could have happened to anyone. It was her first day. Awful way to go out. Sophia knew the risks. Everyone who signs up knows the danger. Thanks for the comforting words, Dr. Buck. You're welcome. If you need to talk about anything... I'm fine. I think I just need some sleep. It looks like you could use a lot of sleep. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs>